So you're picking out prescription glasses and you thought the toughest thing was going to be selecting the frame, but now we're talking lens materials, what? Thank you so much for joining me. As always, I'm Eyeglass Tyler. Welcome to my home. Please make yourself comfortable. This might be a long one, but I think it's good information. We are talking lens material thickness comparisons. There are a lot of different ways to approach this. I think the best way is to start with what to expect. I'm gonna talk about the specific setup we're going to work with. I'll give you a quick rundown on the effect a prescription can have on thickness. Then we'll get into the meat of the topic, the real raw data. And then I will wrap it up with my takeaway. So let's get this party started. Okay, what to expect. First off, I think you should expect it to be a little bit fun. I'm excited anyway, and us tech nerds that like to see this kind of raw data laid out so that you can get a better idea of what to expect. The lens materials in question will start from CR39 or basic plastic, then polycarbonate, then Trivex, high index 167 and high index 174. These are the most common lens materials you will find available to you when buying glasses. So I think it's the right way to look at this. Keep in mind, these numbers are not indicative of what is right for you or your particular setup. Quick shout out to SportRx. We have a lot of opticians who'd love to help you with that and to suss out the details and what's right for you. So definitely reach out to us if you have any questions. There are a lot of variables that can affect lens thickness. I tried to control this as well as I could uh, and make it so that we're able to focus on just the differences in thickness and weight between these lens materials. And so we'll see how that worked out. And now for the setup. The best way to control this scenario is to make sure that we're using the same frame as well as pupil distance measurement. Nothing will change outside of obviously the lens material, but also there are a few different prescriptions I'll be looking at for comparison. The frame we'll be using is the Rain Dudley. This is a favorite. Obviously it's a cool frame in its own right, but also it's nice because it's a fairly large lens and a square shape. The pupil distance will be a 63 millimeter and the prescriptions we'll be looking at will be a minus three and plus two on the lower end and a minus six and plus five on the stronger end. Now keep in mind, this will likely not be representative of what you can expect in terms of thickness in your specific pair or setup. And that's because there are a number of different factors that can influence and affect thickness, but hopefully it gives you a good idea of what you can expect in terms of thickness from these different lens materials. And now for a quick rundown of how your prescription can affect lens thickness. If we're dealing with a plus prescription, it'll be the thickest at the center of the lens. If we're dealing with a minus prescription, it actually gets thicker as you move away from the center of the lens, leaving the center the thinnest point of the lens. Beyond prescription, the frame lens size and pupil distance measurement can actually affect your thickness. Rarely does the OC or ocular center, that is to say the central point of focus and clearest point in the lens, find itself in the geometric center of the frame. In this little graphic here, you can see the circle with the star in it is your ocular center, but the plus is where the geometric center is in the lens. Therefore, you can tell that the capital E is the farthest away from the center of the lens. We're dealing with a minus prescription in this image is the thickest point in the lens. And the lowercase e is the closest point, therefore the thinnest point in the edge of the lens. And the placement of the capital E versus the lowercase e will actually vary also based on your prescription and is affected by what is called your axis which comes into play if you have any astigmatism correction. In this video, we'll be focusing on center thickness, edge thickness, and weight. These are the three components that I think are the most important to consider when looking at lens materials. And now for the meat of it. Yes, I'm gonna start by focusing on center thickness. And as I just mentioned, you can expect plus prescriptions to be the thickest here. The best way to approach this, I think, is by looking at the prescription strength and the corresponding lens material and its thickness. 
So let's start with minus three. You can see that CR39 comes in at the thickest. That was to be expected, but all of these other lens materials are pretty much the same. And there's actually a good reason for that. Like we know, minus prescriptions are the thinnest at the center. Well, there is a minimum tolerance of thickness. And when it's an impact resistant material, you can actually go as thin as 1.5. But when we're talking CR39, which is not impact resistant, they cannot go thinner than a two, even if they're capable of doing so. So that's why you're going to see that the same pretty much throughout all minus prescriptions. And you can see that by looking over at the much stronger minus six prescription, they're all the same. Now looking at plus prescriptions, you have plus two coming in at considerably thicker. In CR39, we were expecting that to be the thickest at four millimeters. Polycarbonate saves you a little over a half a millimeter. Trivex is a little bit thicker as we were expecting. 167 gets thinner, 174 thinner yet. We are talking millimeters, so here a difference of fractions of millimeters, which isn't huge, but then again, we're talking a plus two. We don't usually recommend a thinner lens material for such a weak prescription because it's not going to make a huge difference. But then jumping over to plus five, you can see a pretty big difference in that CR39 at 7.3 millimeters. Polycarbonate shaves off almost a full millimeter. Again, Trivex a bit thicker, but 167 thinner, 174 thinner, yet with 174 coming in at a full two millimeters thinner than your basic CR39, obviously it makes a big difference, especially when you consider the fact that a plus prescription is the thickest at the center and it gets thinner as you move away from the center. And so the edge thickness is going to be affected there as well. So those are the type of differences that you can expect with center thickness. Still in the meat of it, now we're talking thickest edge. And if you've been following along, you know to expect minus prescriptions to really shine here. Knowing that the plus prescriptions are gonna be a little less wowzers, I'm gonna start with those. Starting with plus two, CR39 comes in thickest as to be expected. Polycarbonate a little thinner, slightly thicker Trivex, then thinner and thinner. Again, minor differences here, we're dealing with a plus two prescription. It's not a huge difference between these lens materials, but then jumping up to the plus five, there is a thinnest lens potential with pluses, but as you can see, it gets thinner as you get away from the center of the lens. And the thickest edge of the plus five in the CR39 comes in pretty thick at 5.4 millimeters. Go all the way down to 174, and you're saving over a full millimeter in thickest edge. And so that can make a big difference. Now moving over to minus prescriptions, minus three coming in at 6.1 millimeters at its thickest edge. If you recall, we were at 2.0 in the center, so obviously considerably thicker at its thickest edge, and a good savings if you go to polycarbonate, over a full millimeter at its thickest. Trivex, we were expecting to be a bit thicker, and then thinner with 167, even thinner with 174, coming in at almost two full millimeters thinner. That's a really good savings, and we're just talking about a minus three. Then jumping over to a minus six, a huge amount of thickness with CR39, 11 millimeters at its thickest. You're saving over two millimeters just by going to polycarbonate alone. But if you look down at 174, you are saving almost four full millimeters of edge thickness. And that is huge because that translates to thickness savings along the entire lens. So when you are dealing with a stronger prescription like this, lens material can make a huge difference. Still in the meat of it, now we are talking weight. And I was pretty surprised to find what we saw here because I was expecting there to be a much bigger difference between the lens materials. And I was also expecting Trivex to come in at the lightest among all of them, but that wasn't the case. Looking at this data, be it minus or plus, like we were seeing when we were looking at thickness, and that was pretty interesting to see. And obviously, as you can see, they are pretty darn similar across the board looking at the weaker prescriptions, even jumping over to the stronger prescriptions, no real difference. And if you cut out CR39, I would say that what you take from this is that weight shouldn't really be a huge factor when you're considering lens materials. That was very interesting to me. 
Now for my takeaway. Like I said at the beginning, I'm an optician. I've been in the field for a decade and a half, so this is very familiar to me. I've worked in the lab, I've been a lab manager. I have seen how prescriptions work out in terms of thickness and how they fit into frames, but I've never had the opportunity to take a single frame with a few different prescriptions and all the different lens materials. So this was a pretty cool experience for me. I would say that the one thing that surprised me was the weight factor. I was expecting there to be a difference in weight, a notable difference in weight, but come to find out that really shouldn't factor in much when it comes to your choice of lens material. It does make me think though that we should also be considering a more wrapped frame design as this is a flatter frame. It's an ophthalmic eyeglass frame, so it's very flat. The lens curvature can have a big difference in terms of lens thickness, so maybe keep an eye out. That might be something to follow. Well, that was a wild ride. Thank you so much for coming along with me. Hopefully it was actually exciting or fun for you like it was for me, and that you have a better idea of what is right for you in terms of lens materials. And by the way, if you order from SportRx, thanks to our See Better Guarantee, you never have to worry about getting the wrong thing or something that doesn't work for you, be it lens material related or not. And that is because we're gonna take care of you. Just get back to us within 45 days. Also, we have opticians like myself, happy and ready to help you. Make sure you get it right the first time. So definitely reach out to us. Thanks. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this was interesting. If so, throw us a like, that would be cool. You can check out relevant videos there. If you subscribe, you're gonna hear about them first. And if you check us out on our social media outlets, you might find cool stuff there too. We're at SportRx. Thank you. This might be a long one.